you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Where do I get her from, God? Hi! Mm. Stop crying, okay? I cannot, uh, I cannot stop crying. I want to cry at my mind. Hi! I really sympathize with you here. I really do. But um, I think everything has gotten to the point where I have to face reality in your case. Okay, the reality. Face reality, doctor. Yes, I called Chief Ibe a while ago to tell him uh, what happened to your family and the implications to the planned surgery today. And um, while he was devastated by it, he refused making any further effort towards saving you. Saying he doesn't even have a hundred thousand naira to spare for you right now. I'm sorry, that effectively forecloses every chance of it ever happening. I'm afraid uh, you have absolutely no chance of making it about you. Mother, mother, please, 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 please control yourself. Uh, at this point, I'm afraid I have to. Ask you and your son to leave my husband. No, 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 Mega, oh, don't do that, okay? Mm. Saying you shouldn't bother him, even if we have a one billion naira to pay. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Nurse, help them pack their things to the team. Oh, Please, at least give us five minutes alone in this room, please. Five minutes for what, sir? I want to say my last prayer under a roof. A roof. Because I know once we leave this place, I'm going to spend my last few remaining days in the street. Please. Please, doctor. Well then, uh, nurse. Yes, sir. Let's give them five minutes. Um, please, I must warn. Five minutes, you say. Anything beyond that, I'm afraid I have to throw you out with the police. Let us talk to God, both of us. Let us pray. Let us pray to God over me. Ask God to save me. I'm going to talk to God as a widow. God, God, oh 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 God, God, if you take him, he make a lugo lugo because the other they shot my husband. My husband died. God, where will I go? To? God, ten children only to go and make a lugo. God, please save my child. My only hope, my everything. God, because the other 
God because you know, what? Na akandeke, what? Na akandeke. Talk to God to save. God save my your child. child. Save my only your child. Your only remaining child. Save it for me. Ah, eh, are you okay? Uh. I know he's a merciful God. Mm. I know he has heard mm. our prayers. Uh. I want us to put him to a test. Abaka, a test they have. What does he want here? What does to do? I want to. Hello, Emeka. Adora, I am sorry for disturbing you for the last time. I feel I should give you the latest update of my situation and to appeal to your conscience before I die. Emeka, please stop. Why are you talking like this? My father told, told me yesterday that. Yes, Adora. My father saw that in Selma compound in the village. Just to pay the person that agreed to sell one of his kidneys to me. Yes, but unfortunately, a while ago, my father was shot at the hospital gate. What? Adora, yes, my father died in the arms of my mother. But as I'm talking to you, because of that, the donor left. In this again, and your father said that he's not going to commit beyond what he has done over the prostate check he issued yesterday. You're my only hope. The doctor has asked us to leave this hospital, that he doesn't want me to die in his hospital. Please, Adora, save me, save my life, and save my poor mother.
Daddy, I typed this SMS and asked the Mecca's mother to forward it to you when she is sure that the surgeries to save her son's life are already on the way. If you are reading this now, that means Emeka and I are already under the knife in the operating room at Dr. Henry's hospital. Your dollars are still intact and with Dr. Henry. Go to him for it, please. And meanwhile, Pray for the survival of Emeka and I. Jesus. Jesus. This can never happen. My daughter. No. I found it in Dr. Henry's office. I am gone with your dollars, Chief Ibe. 
your daughter trusted me to keep and pass it on to you before going into the theater. But unfortunately, she trusted the wrong person. Still disappointed that my boys returned such a small amount of money that I considered not worth the trouble we took planning and robbing Emeka's father earlier today, especially since his poor life was lost in the process. The dollars became not just a consolation to me, but also a big dream come true. No! 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 understand that my father must be very angry and disappointed with me for what I did for Emeka. So I understand why he never bested me while I was in the hospital, even till I was discharged earlier today. But what I do not understand is why his phones have been switched off since last week? And why you brought me to your house instead of taking me home like I have been demanding? No matter how angry my father is, he is still my father. My blood I am his only child, so I know that if I beg him, he will forgive me. Sister Dora, trust me, your father is... Pastor, please, please, look at me, look at me, I am begging you, if you know you are a man of God, Just tell me the truth and nothing but the truth, please. Why are we here? Why? Uh, let us pray. Mm -hmm. what? No, 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 wait. What is going on here? I don't understand. We have to pray before you tell me why we are in your house. I, I, I don't get it. What is going on? Please talk to me. What? Why is Mama crying? Don't cry. Is my father okay? Please tell me, is my father okay? Someone should talk to me for God's sake. What is going on here? Uh, fine, um, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> First, the money your father gave you to lodge in the back was a repayment of a syndicated loan that was guaranteed by a political godfather in the north. The next day was the last day the court gave him to pay or he forfeit all he has including the cars and your residential house. Having failed to repay back the loan, which loan he took to massively expand his business. A little over two years ago, Dr. Henry, whom you gave the money to pass on to your father, unfortunately eloped with it. When your father heard about it, he had a massive heart attack and he died.
Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you, we thank you because we slept you hearts in our life this day. And Father, we are with this morning even better. Father, thank you. We commit every activity of today unto your able care. Father, guide us and bless us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to your holy name. Father, we will sanctify and bless whatever we're going to eat and drink today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to your holy name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let's share the grace. May the grace, the grace of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the love, love of God, God and, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now, Father, and Amen. Amen. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Mama. Brother Mika and Sister Adora, I want to have a word with you. Oh no, Mama, not see you can go inside. Brother, is anything the matter? Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit asked me to ask you, why are you living a lie to each other? Living a lie? Yes. Why are you refusing to open up to each other about your shared innermost feelings? Brother, I have always been in love with her since I met her on campus. But I suppressed it because she started dating my best friend then because I have so much respect for both of them. But when you died, I suppressed it still out of respect for her mood. After we met again some months back, it all came flooding back. Because of her humility and kindness in dealing with me as to why I kept it to myself, Brother John. Fear. Fear of how she or her father will react if I express it. Just fear, nothing more. Same here. Fear. Fear of being seen as taking advantage of his situation. And fear of how my father will react too. That was why I never told you that I fell in love with you. Barely three weeks after you started working with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being sincere and courageous enough to admit and confess it before me. Now hear the prophecy of the God of Abraham concerning both of you and your future. You were both created by God Almighty to be husband and wife. In obedience to God Almighty and His prophets, you waited each other in faith despite the uncertainty that surrounds your present and future. Having lost your job, Brother Emeka, and Adora, your entire inheritance, therefore, in obedience to Jehovah's instruction, I have emptied my savings to start you up again. Mm. This is the key to an apartment I rented and furnished for both of you to start life again. This is a check of 850,000. Yeah. Use the money to restart what you can of Chief Ube's liquidated business. 
For the Lord says, if you remain faithful to him, all chief eBay suppliers overseas and his customers here will maintain the same relationship they had with him, with you. Thank you so much. Also, thank you very much. Thank you. My God will bless you. Thank you. Let's pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I hear you, Lord. Yes. Brother Mika and Sister Dora, the Lord said I should tell you that both of you should hold your hands and make promise to each other. He is not saying what you should promise. But promise as your heart leads you. Go ahead and make a promise to each other. Um, um, I promise that I will never lie to you. And uh, I will never have sexual contact with any other woman till death do us part. I, I promise to be faithful to you and I promise that I will never lie to you, I will never deceive you and I will never hide anything from you. Come on, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, once again, I want to say congratulations to both of you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> I am still waiting for your explanation. I have got forever to do this. Well, sir, uh, you, you, you... I know what, Miss Sojo. Jesus Christ! What manner of people are our universities churning out these days in the name of graduates? That account in that file was prepared by you, Mister Joe. My wife has verted and discovered three million disparity in the figures you arrived at. A graduate, you call yourself an accounting graduate with second class upper credit. God damn it. What is this? Sir, just give me a little time to explain. Mr. Job, I have sent my wife's observations and you put it to your mailbox. You have one week to respond to it, or else I hand you over to police. Mr. Oh, John, I am done with you. God! What is this? No, 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 Every other manager as well. That is what I'll do.
please help me go bring Avenger from school. Yeah, I have some things to settle in the office. Yes, it has to do with accounting. It's okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's okay. I love you too. Goodbye. Thank you again. Hundred percent. Wow! That's my angel. That's my hundred percent. That calls for celebration. Daddy, I need a balloon. Balloon? Yes. Just that. Yes. You get more than that from Daddy, okay? Now, Mommy and Melvin will get something too for wishing you good luck. Okay. What about that? You will. Daddy, buy a feeding bottle for Melvin. <laughs> feeding bottle. Um, <laughs> okay. And what? Um, flower for mommy. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> flower for me. Yeah. My angel. Why flower? Because I want to see you sniffing it. Like that one that daddy bought for you on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, my baby. Uh-uh. Ah, my baby. Mm. How are you? Mm. <laughs> That is bad. Yeah, no, kiss baby well. Why is he naked? Mm. Huh? Mm. Um, my, I, I was oh, oh, to him before he yeah. came in. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Ah. Yes. 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 Rather than give any cogent reason for the missing money, all Mr. Joe did in the office today for over 15 minutes was to sweat, shiver, and stammer. Hmm? Sweat, shiver, and stammer. As in, he didn't say anything. He said nothing. Wait, wait. The chief accountant of a business outfit prepared an account that has 3 million naira inconsistency in figures and he did not say anything in, in, in explanation. Exactly. Yeah! Exactly. Oh! And he came to be a graduate. <laughs> How in God's name did he make a second class upper in the university? Whoever his lecturers were deserved to be sacked or even sent to prison. God, I guess it was my anger that, that such a buffoon shared the same class of degree with me. After all the sleepless night I put into getting mine, that got me worked up. Honestly, I still can't believe that I didn't punch him in his face in the office this afternoon. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Eh? That is not the man I fell in love with and married. There are other ways to handle such issues, annoying as they are. 
And I know my honey can do better than using his fist on an incompetent staff, can't he? Of course he can. And he did. I asked you to help me bring a vanger from school so I can steal back in the office and issue him and the other managers a query. And they have one week to respond satisfactorily or I hand them over to the police. Better. Uh -huh. Better. In fact, I was going to suggest that. Eh? Uh -uh. What are we talking about here? Three million naira is not three naira. Uh -uh. What are you for about? Now tell me, why is he back so early? Three months after she delivered Melvin, he believes time is ripe for them to start their usual Friday family outing. As usual, you have shown that you have a way of seeing through and also knowing the innermost bondings of my soul. I have a great singularism. <laughs> I hope you guys have of yeah. yeah. Yes, we actually had fun. Oh my god. What you is don't it? believe who is calling. Who is that? Mimi. Hey babe. What's up? <laughs> well, I'm fine. Yes. Please leave that thing. Hmm. You don't want me. Eh? <laughs> go away, go away, go away. No, 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 no. And we actually went on a family outing. Well, we're... yes. We are on our way back. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Please, tell me you're joking. Are you serious? I, I can't wait to have you. Of course, of course, I can't. Please, leave all that to your long talk, I beg. When are you coming in? This weekend. My husband and I will be at the airport to pick you up. That is a promise. <laughs> Ah, oh my god, I can't wait. Yes, everyone is fine, the baby is fine. Yes. Yeah, all of them are here. Okay. Just hold on. Who wants to talk to Auntie Mirabel? Alright. Hello, Auntie Mirabel. I'm fine. And Mary is fine too. And so please, may I ask you a question? Do you like planting porridge? <laughs> oh, I'm just saying now. Give me, give me. Jesus. Oh, Father, I will say thank you. Father, I will thank you because only you can do this, Lord. Father, I will thank you because you have given them these gifts. Father, Lord, as they are moving into this apartment, oh Lord, as they are moving into this house, oh Lord, Good things of life will follow them here in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father, Lord Almighty and ever living God, enemies will never see them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, whoever that says they will not live in this house in peace, oh, Father, they will sleep and never wake up. Oh, Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because it's only you that can do this for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father, we say thank you. thank you. Glory be to your holy name. Father Lord, as you have given this wonderful gift to Brother Emeka and Sister Dora, oh Father, they will continue to bless you and glorify your holy name. Thank you for giving to them, O oh Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thanks, God. Amen. Amen. Uh, I want to congratulate you, Brother Emeka and uh, Sister Dora, for achieving this important milestone in your lives as a couple in just two and a half years. Yes, indeed, nothing is impossible 
where there is love and the Holy Spirit at work. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who would have believed just before your wedding? When the storm of life almost swallowed both of you up? Who would have predicted that you would become a miraculous success story today? To have purchased this structure as your personal home. Glory be to your holy name. But, Brother John, you prophesied this, have you forgotten? Oh yes, as directed by God. I see what the Lord revealed to me. I thank God who made the prophecy of his servant in our lives to come to pass. And I thank you too for making yourself available to God Almighty to use you so massively to bless us. Glory be to your holy name. Thank God as you water in the vineyards of God. May he water your vineyard also day and night. Amen. Amen. Our brother Mika, this is just the beginning of the blessings from him. For honoring the prophet of God by inviting me here to come and officially open and bless this house. I will say. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I hear you, Lord. I hear you, Lord. And I will speak to the faithful. As you have instructed me, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes. Brother Emeka and Sister Dora, the Holy Spirit said, on no account must you allow other people to live with you in this house. Pastor, I... I don't get you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Except your children, your mother, and those people that will work for you as domestic staff. No relative, no friends, no colleagues should share this house with you, except the Lord decrees otherwise. This is the induction of the Holy Spirit. For any disobedience from God, the repercussion will be very disastrous. Thus says the Lord. Amen. anything but easy. I've seen a lot from you guys already in the last three days I've spent here. And it's like every day they come up with one prank or the other. These days, Melvin will not sleep until Evangel sleeps. Eh? And then the, the, the stress of running our business is so much on, on the other that it will be very insensitive of me to, to, to ask him to help out with the kids. That's why I'm here. Let me help you out with them tonight. <laughs> Trust me. Hmm? This is one job that will break you before you even start. Honestly. Let's see how that goes. Eh? I, no, 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 Mirabel. I, I can't allow you to do that. Three months since you had Melvin. Let me ask you. How many times have you played your spousal role to Emeka? No, no, hold on, girlfriend. Let me tell you. Nursing a child it's not enough reason for you to kill romance in marriage. Do you know what you're going to do for me? 
go and play your role as a wife. Marry a maker tonight and I'll help you take care of the kids. How about that? Mimi, this won't be difficult for me, honestly. I'm not complaining. Mommy, I want Auntie Mira wine this night. And what does mom say? <laughs> <laughs> 